put with uh, apples and cider. Um, this uh, dish is inspired by the fantastic dishes of uh, Normandy in France uh, where the ingredients are pork, apples, cider, garlic, onions and cream and um, to that end uh, I've assembled these ingredients. Let's just go through it. Uh, first of all you'll need the pork and what I'm using, you can use pork chops if you like, but I'm using uh, pork loin steaks. These are British pork loin steaks. They're really nice. They're cut through the loin noisette. So they've just got, they've got a lovely balance of, of fat and lean to give a full flavour. So they're really tasty. Um, I've got a bottle of British cider. You can use any cider, but the drier ciders tend to be um, better in flavour. And just to give you an instance, that measure is, where are we, 500 mils. So it's half a litre of cider and that should make plenty of sauce for all you see here. Um, in addition to the pork and cider we've got, uh, we'll need half of this onion, we'll need two, two apples um, and you'll need a couple of cloves of garlic as well. You'll also need some butter, some single cream and salt and pepper. So without further ado, I'm going to turn that lot into that. And um, what I want to do now, uh, you'll notice I've chopped the uh, apple into, I've peeled and cored it and chopped it into pieces about, about yay big. There you go. And uh, I've also mashed up the garlic uh, with some salt in the French way. And there's my half of onion that I won't be using in this dish. All right. Let me just move that off the heat for a sec because it's probably going to get too hot. Right. Uh, you need to salt and pepper your steaks. So, salt and pepper them. And flip them over and do the same. Right. Next thing I want to do is I want to get some butter into this pan. And before I do that, I just want to put a little splash of oil in it. Okay. There you go. Just a little splash of oil and some butter into the pan. Right. Swirl that around. And while you're doing this, you need to turn your crank your oven up to about 100. And 180 degrees, what's that, 350 degrees Celsius, uh, 180 degrees, sorry, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees in the old money in the Fahrenheit, and get that pan nice and hot, and then just get your steaks in there. What we want to do on these, uh, I just want to do two at a time, um, and the reason I want to do two at a time is because I don't want that uh, to start poaching, I want it to. Um, I just want it to cook away in there. So there you go. I've sealed them on one side, give them a flip, and doing it on the other side. Meanwhile, I'm going to mix up um, a generous teaspoon of uh, cornstarch, corn flour, and I'm going to mix that with some cold water. All right, my corn corn uh, flour, my corn starch is, is um, mixed up with just a little water, just enough to make it a liquid. They're done on both sides now, so I'm just going to quickly transfer those to my baking tray and get the other two in. And meanwhile the chops, um, the other chops can go into the oven just to keep warm. So I'm going to lift the lid on that. Old army trick. <laughs> and um, I think these are almost ready to turn. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, they're ready to turn. Doesn't take long. We're cooking them on, on high heat. And then watch that for a minute. Just let that seal. Okay, they're ready to transfer to the baking tray. There we go. Nice and seal them both sides. 
do those that way round. Get them all on. Nice and flat. There we go. All right, that goes in and finishes cooking in the oven. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, we get the onions into there and Spoonzilla steals the seed yet again and comes in um, and we get them we get a stir going on those right one second I need to get a little bit more butter in that because I do remember what I said before if you eat health food you won't live longer you'll just feel like you do all right so we're getting a nice turn on those onions let's get in the apple all the apple don't mess about oops i've spilt my bloody just get a turn on that apple and then add a little bit of cider to it and you'll see it starts to lift and deglaze so let's get a bit more in there Okay, that's good. All right. So here we are. We've got the pork flavour in there, and we've got the cider. Might as well put all the cider in there because it's rude not to. There we go. So there's half a litre of cider, and what we can do now is we can bring that to the boil and cook that down until the apples and onions are nice and soft but not completely breaking up. All right, I'm gonna tidy up this mess and um, make, make me some more um, cornflour water. Okay, that's tidied that lot up. Um, I've also got the cream ready, the garlic's ready to go and uh, my cornstarch is ready to go. Now, what we're gonna do here is reduce the cider we want to concentrate the flavor of that cider uh, so we keep it on the high heat keep it on the searing heat uh, until it's reduced and you'll you'll I'll show you exactly where we are on the point of reduction and then the last thing we're going to do is add these and then just finish up seasoning up Reducing it like this has the effect of um, concentrating the flavours. And it also, another side effect of it is that it, it builds up a nice shine on the, uh, and on the surface of the sauce, um, at this stage at least. And that, that's because of the sugars being released into the sauce from the onion and the apple. And this is a rather rich sauce because we finished this uh, with garlic and cream. All right, I've added the uh, garlic to it and I'm continuing to reduce it. And the apples are getting to that stage where they're starting to get soft. So rather than having them fall apart in the final dish, I'm going to finish this now and let it cook through as a finished sauce. So to that end, it's time to introduce the starch. So give it a stir because it tends to sink. So introduce the starch into it and quickly give that a stir because it will quickly begin to thicken up. And the reason we do this before we add the cream, uh, and you wanna add about half of your pot of cream to that. So what we're saying, that's the three, about 150 ml of cream you wanna to add to that. So it's a 300 ml pot. So you want to add, and the effect that has is the corn flour stops the cream from splitting as soon as it hits the so the sauce because the sauce is slightly acidic from the apples, and it would otherwise tend to split and to curdle, and we don't want that because that looks gross, and it would ruin the final dish. So there you are. So now we've got apples, cream, garlic, and onions. Cooking in the remnants of the pork juice. And 
Um, we're going to have a taste of that now. So just have a quick taste, just to make sure, because we always cook by taste, right? Oh wow, that's nice. Mmm, that's on the money. Um, I'd be loath to add any stock to this right now because stock is, to, in my opinion, it's it, it gets away from the de delicacy of the apple flavour in the sauce, and you don't want to overpower that. You want it to taste of apples, so it's, it's another reason why I use those nice green Granny Smith apples. I think they're Spanish ones, but the French Granny Smiths are probably just as good, or English Granny Smiths if you can find them. Um, I'm going to have another taste of that. I think I might need to adjust for salt. I just want to check that again. Yeah, I do. So it needs a bit of salt. A little bit of salt. And I'm going to put a bit of black pepper, because you know me from black pepper. If you don't like black pepper, if you don't like the way it looks in your sauce, use white pepper or don't use pepper at all, it's up to you. Um, but all my viewers know what I feel about pepper. I love it. And I need to check and adjust the sauce again. When you're tasting, always use a new spoon. And there's a practical reason for this. And that's because your spit, your saliva, it contains an enzyme called amylase. And if you introduce that back into a sauce that has got starch in it, it will begin to separate the starch and the sugars. And you'll end up with a thin, sweeter sauce. And it won't thicken. So we don't want that, do we? So that's cooked down just about perfectly now and it's at this stage that we can get our parky chops back in there. All right, the pork chops are out of the oven. They've more or less finished cooking. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat right down on this, down to a simmer. And I'm going to transfer the pork chops into the sauce. Very French to do it this way. Very French indeed. And there you go. So we get those in there. And another advantage of cooking this way is you get this nice reduction, this stock uh, in the pan. All right, there's a bit of fat in it. But where there's fat, my dear gastronauts, there is flavor. All right, so we'll get that in there and stir to mix. Right, I'm gonna reduce the heat to nothing because that sauce is perfect consistency now. So I've turned everything to nothing. I'm just gonna let that continue cooking in the retiring heat. The apple is just at the right consistency. Uh, so I'm just gonna let that continue cooking in the retiring heat. And then I'm gonna take a little taste of it to show you what I mean. So there we are, there's the finished dish. I'm just gonna give that a little dust in of black pepper because I think it looks rather nice on there. You can also drop a little bit of parsley on it, but not too much, you don't wanna overpower it. And I'm now gonna have a taste of this and tell you what it's like. Mmm, see the pork's lovely cooked right through. Now I'm going to have a taste of that. Let me make sure I get a bit of apple on it, a bit of onion. Mm. Mm. Oh, you can say what you like, but those um, those um, Norman Frenchies really know how to cook. That is a fabulous dish. Um, it's what they have in the fields. They have, in the autumn they have apples. And uh, in the olden days everyone had a pig in the backyard. And uh, 
<coughs> the pigs would have been fed on the windfall so the flavour of the pork uh, would have been flavoured with the apples um, and probably also acorns <laughs> um, and mm, I'm going to have to tell you boys and girls my dear gastronauts that is sumptuous Normandy pork with apple cream and cider enjoy If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.